welcome to my channel today we're diving into a topic that's often debated but rarely discussed openly and that is pornography should you avoid watching porn it's a question that touches on personal values mental health and relationships so join me as we explore the impact of porn consumption on individuals and society and consider whether it's time for a change in our viewing habits I'm Helen Birch, your sex educator and sexual freedom coach. In today's digital age, porn has become an omnipresent aspect of modern society. Its accessibility has increased exponentially with the arrival of the internet and streaming, leading to widespread consumption across various demographics. However, alongside its prevalence, there arises a, a plethora of questions and concerns regarding its impact on individuals' mental and emotional well-being. In this video, we're going to delve into the scientific research surrounding porn, explore its effects, both positive and negative, on users. Before delving into the effects of pornography, it's essential to understand its prevalence in society. Studies suggest that approximately 70 to 80% of men and around 32% of women have engaged with pornography, either occasionally or regularly. Moreover, since the COVID-19 pandemic, um, there has been an 11% surge in traffic to porn sites, highlighting its significance in contemporary culture. People turn to porn for various reasons including meeting their sexual desires and fantasies, curiosity about sex and inadequacies in sexual education. However, its impact expends beyond mere gratification, influencing attitudes towards sex and interpersonal relationships. So the pros and cons of pornography. So contrary to conventional wisdom, Research indicates that porn consumption can have both positive and negative implications. On the positive side, individuals who engage in pornography often exhibit more positive attitudes towards sex, increased sexual experimentation with partners and greater sexual satisfaction. Moreover, watching porn with a partner can foster intimacy and enhance relationship satisfaction. However, concerns arise regarding the consumption of abusive or damaging pornography and its potential correlation with sexual violence. While multiple studies have explored the association, definitive conclusions do remain elusive. Identifying problematic pornography use. So notably, a fraction of the population, approximately 4 to 10%, may experience problematic porn use. Several factors contribute to this phenomenon, including excessive consumption, moral um, issues at play, and prioritising pornography over real-life sexual encounters. So problematic pornography use can manifest in various ways impacting individuals brain chemistry and behavior dopamine a neurochemical associated with pleasure plays a central role in reinforcing porn consumption leading to cravings and compulsive behavior similar to addictions so the real life ramifications beyond neurological effects problematic pornography Use can be detrimental to an individual's daily lives and relationship. Escalating consumption may lead to social isolation, financial strain and mental health disorders such as depression and anxiety. Moreover, exposure to unrealistic portrayals of sexuality in porn can contribute to self-esteem issues and performance anxiety. 
Addressing the issue, acknowledging the problematic use of porn is the first step towards addressing its adverse effects. By understanding the neurobiology mechanisms underlying addiction and implementing strategies to mitigate cravings, individuals can regain control over their behaviour. So in conclusion, porn remains a complex and multifaceted aspect of contemporary society, eliciting diverse reactions and opinions. While it does offer potential benefits such as increased sexual satisfaction and exploration, its excessive consumption can create a myriad of negative consequences ranging from addiction to relationship disorder. By fostering a nuanced understanding of porn and its effects, we can strive towards promoting healthy attitudes towards sex and relationships in the digital age. So remember, if you or someone you know is struggling with problematic pornography use, seeking support from mental health professionals or support groups can provide invaluable assistance on the path to recovery. So thank you very much for watching this video today on whether you should avoid watching porn. If you found this discussion thought provoking and want to take control of your sexual habits, then I do invite you to use the link in the description box below. It takes you to the Sexual Mastery course, which offers a holistic approach to overcoming porn addiction and fear of failure through the power of hypnosis and other proven techniques. So take the first step towards a healthier, more fulfilling sex life today and don't let uncertainty hold you back. Reclaim your confidence and start enjoying sex again. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel for more insightful discussions and helpful resources. Until next time, please stay curious, stay empowered and bye bye for now.